Hi there, Davin Lim, dermatologist. This topic is on hormonal acne or how to sort out hormonal acne. Now, there's two distinctions with hormonal acne which is very important to understand. That is, hormonal acne caused by excess hormones, which include hormones such as prolactin, testosterone, DHEAS. These can actually lead to acne that's hormonally driven. But the most common cause of hormonal acne is not due to abnormal or excess hormones, but due to overtly sensitive oil glands to normal hormones. This is what we call hormonal acne. But as dermatologists, most of us investigate to exclude the former. Now, hormonal acne is very different compared to normal teenage acne because hormonal acne is often called jawline acne or adult female jawline cystic acne. And this type of acne can usually flare up during your menstrual cycle. And often these lesions are deep, they're painful, and as the name suggests, along the jawline area. So you can try simple things at home, including salicylic acid washes, benzyl peroxide, azalic acid, and of course, dietary restrictions and an acne diet. For example, diet low in sugar, dairy, and processed foods. However, if you're still struggling with hormonal acne, possibly a dermatologist can help. Now, what do we do in this context of acne and how do we treat it? Generally speaking, when patients come to see dermatologists, they would have tried the antibiotics, they would have tried hormonal control, for example, the oral contraceptive pill, or even have um, attempted retinoids, including topical retinoids. So be guided by your medical dermatologist because they may order some investigations to exclude excess hormones and they this can discuss effective treatments with you which include certain anti-hormone drugs. The most important or the most popular include both isotretinoin, which is Accutane. However, there is a stepping stone between um, normal oral contraceptive pills and that of Accutane, and that is with a drug called spironolactone. Now this is an anti-hormone drug that can be safely implemented into your lifestyle that will give you good results with minimal side effects. Thereafter, dermatologists can negotiate with you whether isotretinoin or Accutane is suitable for your type of acne. For more information, please discuss this with your dermatologist at QSIS.